Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install an open light speed web server on Ubuntu or any other flavor of Debian operating system. I'm going to call it a LOMP server, L O M P for Linux, open light speed, MySQL, or in this case, uh, Maria database and PHP. So if that's something you're interested in learning how to do, let's get on into the tutorial here. What we're first going to do is SSH uh, login SSH into our server at this IP address in this server is a fresh install of Ubuntu 20.04 as you can see up here. And um, the first thing we need to do is tell Ubuntu that open light speed is available to download so we can add it to our package repository um, like this and that is going to go ahead and set that up for us. So now, because we did that, we can do an apt get install open light speed. And I'll have all these commands down in the description in a link somewhere. So check that out so you don't have to copy and, or not copy and paste, but so you can copy and paste and you don't have to type them in. Um, what this is gonna install for us is, you know, open light speed itself and then a bunch of other dependencies including uh, PHP, as you can see up here, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's go ahead and kick that off. And um, this will take a, a little bit for it to install, so I'll catch back up with you when it finishes. All right, guys, that's done. And there's a couple other optional packages that you might want to go ahead and grab for Open Light Speed, and that are as follows. Uh, we got PHP curl, we got image magic, a couple other ones, memcache redis. So if you want to do that, we can go ahead and install those as well. And when that is finished, um, that will take care of the L Linux, the O open light speed. Then we have to do the M, which is uh, MySQL or Maria database. Um, and actually the P at the very end, we already did that. We, we already did that because that was included in the open light speed install. So let's go ahead and work on the uh, database. So we can do that with app get install Maria DB dash server. And this will take 173 megabytes of space. So we'll go ahead and kick that off. And this will probably take a bit. So I'll catch back up with you when it finishes. All right, and that is done. So let's go ahead and secure that installation of the, the database. So we can do MySQL underscore secure underscore installation. And um, this is asking us for the root password. I don't think there is one by default, so I'll hit enter. I do want one though, so I'll type in the root password and confirm it. Okay, so we have that password set now. Do we want to remove anonymous users? Yes. Disallow root login remotely? Yes. Remove the test databases? Yes. And reload the tables? Yes. Okay, so that's done. Um, the next thing we want to do is to set the root password for open light speed. So we can do that with um, this shell script here. And what we want to do is to, if you want to change the username, you can. I'm going to keep admin for myself and I'll type in the password. and confirm that. And that is good. Now we have set our username as admin and our password for open light speed. The next thing we want to do is just to see um, if open light speed is up and running. We can do that uh, by checking the status as so. And it says light speed is running with this process ID. So that's good. We can actually open up a browser window now and go, um, I already have the IP address in here, and if we uh, affix or post fix to that, the port 8088, which is the default port for new instances of open light speed websites, um, you'll see that we now have, um, you know, the basic home page landing page for a new open light speed website. So um, that is good, that is progress. I'll show you how to change this to the default port for HTTP, HTTP, uh, which is um, port 80. So we'll do that in a bit, but how do we do that? Well, we have to log into the admin panel for open light speed, and that is at port 7080. So the same thing, your IP address colon 7080, and you'll get this connection is not private, error message, that's okay. Um, we trust it, so let's go ahead and go to this, uh, this page. And just as we set just a couple seconds ago, minutes ago, we can use admin and the password that we set for open light speed. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. 
and finally log into our dashboard. In here, as promised, let's go ahead and change that default port from 8088 to 80. We can do that by going into the listener section and we wanna look at the default listener. It's the only listener at this point with port 8080. So we're gonna um, view that and edit this port and simply change it from 8088 to port 80. And we can go ahead and save that. And you can see up here, we get this message that says configuration has been modified to apply changes. Please perform a graceful restart. It's really easy to do that. You can just click this green uh, arrow button right here, circular arrow, and do that. Okay, that's good. So let's uh, let's copy this IP address, open up a new tab, paste in the um, the bare, the naked IP address, and this works now because um, we're not listening on port 8088, we're listening on port 80. So you don't have to prefix or postfix with that, that port number. Um, let me show you where this web page resides on the server itself. So if we open up our terminal window again, and go to CD user local LSWS. Um, in here, you'll see that um, if you if you didn't catch it, let me just show you real quick because this is important. The uh, back here, if you go to the list, or I'm sorry, not the listeners, the virtual hosts. The name of the virtual host by default, the one that they give you for free here, is called example. So we want to go into the example folder here. And in the example folder, we have a couple uh, other directories. Let's go into the HTML directory. And here you can see the index.html page. We'll just take a look at that real quick, um, index.html. And uh, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to create my own body here. So let's get rid of, um, you know, like all that stuff down here. And we'll just do h1 hello world and h1 and then we'll close that out for body so now we'll save that and if we go back to the the welcome page here this one as before um we refresh it and we get hello world so that's that's what we're looking at as it resides on the web server itself um that's about it for this video. If you want to learn how to install WordPress on Open Lightspeed, uh, check out this video right here and definitely consider subscribing to this channel because if you do, I'll see you in the next video.